you know, we're rethinking, we're in the rethinking phase. And you said during a presser, oh, it is true, currently under Indiana law, you could put a sign in your window that says, no gays allowed, and that would be legal because LGBT is not a protected class. How can you tolerate that? No pun intended. But how can you allow that to be the presence well, of Indiana state law? How can you not change that? Well, first of all, we don't see that happening here in Indiana, but I get that uh, there's concern that it could. So we are having discussions about the future of our civil rights laws here in Indiana. The speculation is that this was the intention because there was politics on the table here. You didn't get the marriage as defined between a man and a woman amendment through, and this was the give back, that this law would be an accommodation to people like you who want to define under your constitution right. marriage as between a man and a woman. You are pushing that amendment once again for 2016. Is this your gift? because you didn't get the amendment you wanted? A absolutely not. I'll tell you what the real uh, catalyst was here was the Hobby Lobby, a case that, uh, that legal scholars looked at and said, you know, this would have been decided differently in Indiana or at least unclearly in Indiana. You can see those legal opinions on our website. Right. And if you carefully read it, you'll see that was the motivator. I do not feel like he has the right to not service a homosexual couple by providing them a cake. It's about the message that's on that cake. It's about freedom of speech. So you're saying he would have to bake the cake, but he wouldn't have to put congratulations on the top of it or something? Well, that, that I mean, would be my opinion of the bill. That, that's absolutely right. And I, I would think I would give the same right to a, a Jewish baker to not have to put a swastika on a bill. I mean, this, this is about freedom of speech, not about discrimination. So, so some major companies are coming out of, against this, as you're, as you're well aware, Senator. Uh, Walmart is one of them. That is the largest private employer in the United States, certainly the largest company uh, in, in Arkansas. It's the largest retailer on earth. Based in Arkansas, in Bentonville, they have come out against this bill. Today, the CEO, just moments ago, actually put out a statement. I wanted to read it to you. It says, today's passage of HB 1228 threatens to undermine the spirit of inclusion present throughout the state of Arkansas and does not reflect the values we proudly uphold. For these reasons, we are asking Governor Hutchinson to veto the legislation. How much does that concern you, that Walmart is going to come out against what you're saying? Yeah, you know, Walmart's in my district. Uh, I think I have a tremendous amount of respect for uh, CEO uh, Mr. McMillan. I have a tremendous amount of respect for Walmart. Um, I, I think they're missing the point, just like so many are. If uh, Mr. McMillan had the time in his day to actually read this bill himself, uh, he would understand this is about First Amendment, freedom of speech, uh, and he would agree with me. And, and, but just to make it clear, where, where do you draw the line? So when you said uh, you would allow someone to, you, you have to bake the cake, but you don't have to put congratulations if it's a gay couple. So if my religion says I, I don't believe in blacks and whites getting married, I would have to bake them a cake, but I wouldn't, I could also say I don't put congratulations on that because I don't believe in mixed race marriages? Well, again, you know, I can't speak for anyone else's strongly held uh, be religious but your beliefs, law and that's would why allow we have a court that, right? system. Well, I think it would uh, it would allow a def it would allow them a defense, um, but I certainly do not believe uh, in dis discrimination in any way, and I wouldn't support it.